I hope you have uh, not used a quote like this uh, in your conversations this morning, because that is no longer true, and any quote like this that is similar to this is not uh, true anymore either. Uh, my name is Walker Will. I'm a DevOps evangelist with uh, Microsoft. And um, unless you've lived on the rock, uh, you missed that, uh, you will not have missed that Microsoft has changed quite a bit over the past few years. And with respect to this quote, I believe we are now well into taking uh, step three. We've left in a way, the past behind where one size fits all. If you were a developer in .NET, you would be successful and it would work uh, well on a Windows and, uh, ecosystem. If not, tough luck. Uh, you might have some success, but not really. We have uh, very well understood and are very well aware and have accepted that this is a different world and has been for quite some time. It is a heterogeneous world where it is no longer about my way or the highway. This is about investing in the community, investing in open source, investing in uh, tools and opening up your, uh, your tool chest to have others uh, participate. Uh, with uh, Satya Nadella, we embarked on this mobile first cloud wor uh, first world, which enabled us and forced us to change our minds. And uh, I believe we slowly see to, uh, that we gain credibility in the open source community in particular. I'm, I'm far away from pretending that we are there yet. But I would like to invite everyone to help us make the right changes, make the right investments, and tell us when we are not so that we can adopt. There's three questions that uh, my team and I get asked when we engage with customers and with partners in events like Hackfest and hackathons. Number one, so have you given up on the past? Uh, did you, uh, are you planning on abandoning the .NET community? Oh, by no means are we trying to do that or will we do that? This is a vibrant developer ecosystem that is growing and uh, we'll make sure that .NET continues to be the best development environment on Windows and with .NET Core, maybe even beyond just Windows. The third thing is, Hey, are you, are you supporting other tool sets and ecosystems? And uh, while we are committed to support our existing uh, tools and environments, we are very, very open to support uh, other tools, other ecosystems as well. Uh, you may have heard that a large number of virtual machines running on Azure, for example, are Linux virtual machines. We have over, uh, over 7,000 extensions in the stores for the Visual Studio uh, uh, tool set. So we definitely have, have changed and opened our, uh, our infrastructure. Is Microsoft committed to constantly sharing back? Oh yes, yes we are absolutely not, but just by opening our SDKs, by open sourcing our APIs and framework, we also tell our internal stories. If you go to microsoft.com slash DevOps, for example, uh, you'll find a lot of our stories, our constantly growing uh, set of stories. An example, DevOps, I mentioned the, the extensions. This is a brief overview about the extensions that uh, we currently have. So there's a huge number and it is constantly growing. As you develop new tools, develop new uh, products, there's an easy way to integrate them and to make them productive uh, on Windows. So it definitely is a new Microsoft. We contribute to open source. Please pay attention. We are sharing our own stories, and there's a rich set of in-person uh, uh, in and online activities. But don't take my word for it, and this is my closing slide. Today at 1.15 in Ballroom F, we have a session where my colleague, uh, Donovan Brown, brings it all together and will tell you and show you uh, our, what we believe, incredible story. And if you show up, you even have a chance to win a few devices, I was told. Thank you very much.